Okay, this is a short video of a little trick I did. I went out to Walgreens and for $10 I bought this lighter socket US, USB plug, basically. I got my soldering iron out and a little bit of wire and I ripped this thing apart carefully so it wouldn't break. And I took off the side, the side metal pieces and there's a little circuit board in there which I can't show you right now. but. I took took it all apart, and, and the, where the tip is, I ran took the tip out, and I just put this basic wire that I cut from a connector off, and I soldered one wire to the tip and the other wire to the part that goes to the side metal pieces for the grounding on the 12 volt system. Then shrunk tube it here, heat shrunk it, so I soldered that on, heat shrunk the tube there, and then just so it looks a little bit better and holds tighter. So then on these wires, I took the two clips. These are the side clips from right that normally go in here. I took those out, and I just soldered them on to the end of the other wires, and then shrunk tube with a little bit of adhesive line shrink tubing here, so it's real strong. Then this uh, this unit is two a two USB device, 2.1 amps on the top and. 1.0 amp on the bottom, so it basically gives me two sockets, one more powerful than the other. So then these just happen to fit perfectly. This is a this is a standard rigid lithium ion 18 volt battery pack, and I haven't checked the polarity test. I don't want to check it, so I just know which one is which. This side here is all I do is I slide this in here. On the plus, it tells you right on there. This one's plus here, and then this is minus for your 18 volts. This device operates according to the specs on here from 12 to 24 volts, so it'll, it should work. So you take this, you connect it in here to the plus side, and you take this one and stick it into the negative side, and it fits nice and snug against the two pins that are in there. It's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see it here. See how it just slides in? That's it. It's pretty snug. You could tape it if you don't want it to move, or I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. But as you can see, it lights up the light on the uh, USB connector, and basically you've got a pretty damn good external battery so uh, battery powered USB socket. You can use this to charge your iPhone or any USB device that requires 2.1 amps or 1.0 amps. So there you go.